Hello, I'm Stuart. Before we start, we want to share that this video uses AI for graphics and voice, but all the information is manually researched by our team. Here in the video, we will share the details for the Xbox error code 0x8007232 days. This error occurs when users try to install or update games, or even when updating the Xbox console itself. Players shared that during the installation or update, the process stops abruptly and shows the error. According to our research, the error is mostly related to network issues. Sometimes the error can also appear if the console is not signed into Xbox. In some cases, the error is also triggered during the console update process if the restart doesn't happen smoothly or if the connection drops midway. The first thing you should try is to restart your network hardware. To do this, power off your Xbox console and then turn off your modem or router. Wait for around two minutes. Now, turn on your network hardware and wait till it connects to your ISP. After that, power on your console and try again. If you are connected via Wi-Fi, try switching to a wired Ethernet connection. Simply plug an Ethernet cable from your router to your console, then retry the update or installation. This provides a more stable connection and may help resolve the issue. If you still have the error, then make sure you are signed into your Xbox account. Some users shared that the error disappeared once they signed in. So check this and try again. If the update was interrupted, don't worry. The console usually resumes from where it left off during the download, verifying or applying stages if you have a stable internet connection. So let the process continue and check if it resumes automatically. Also, please pay attention to the restart point during the update. When the console is transitioning from verifying to applying the update, the Nexus button will flash on and off about 15, 20 times. The screen may go blank, but after that the console should restart and continue with the update. So let this process complete without interruption. Lastly, if nothing helps, then check if there are any known Xbox Live service issues. To do this, go to support.xbox.com slash xbox live status. If the servers are having problems, then you'll need to wait until the issue is resolved on Xbox's end. Thanks for watching. This is all we have for the error. If this video helped, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have any questions or issues? Drop them in the comments below. See you in the next one.